Beyonder, what's wrong? Are you, are you all right? No, he is very, very weak. How could he be with all his power? Because he's not in our home dimension. His power is diminished the longer he stays here in this unfamiliar reality. You must rest and let my life support system rejuvenate you as much as it can. Madam Webb, tell me what's going on. I need your help. You must help yourself. But that does not mean you will be alone. Look. Am I going mad? This is the one who's supposed to be our leader? Give me a break. I should be in charge of this group. I'm the real Spider-Man. I don't know what kind of mind game this is, but I'm the real Spider-Man. The real Peter Parker. Guess again. See? Pete, old buddy, we're just as genuine as you are. But how can that be? Madam Webb says that we're each from different dimensions. Reality is like a river that splits off into many parallel tributaries. These Spider-Men are from parallel realities, each as legitimate as yours. They are all you, with some slight differences. Oh, don't let these worry you, Pete. They're just a little souvenir from my last fight with Doc Ock. You mean to tell me that you all share my life and my spider powers? <clears throat> well, uh, not quite all of us. I don't have your life or your powers. So who are you then? You wouldn't believe me if I told you. Let's just say I'm here to help. Although I'm not prepared for anything like this. We were all kind of caught in the middle of things. I'm having a little mutation problem right now. Whoa, I don't think I even want to hear your story. But you must hear the Scarlet Spider story, for this is his reality we're in. And that monster who counted was his twin. 